Chris H. pays tribute to Mr. Lou. Wait a minute. Mr. Lou, why are we doing this? Why would we ever do an episode dedicated to you? That's ridiculous. Melissa, just go with it. Fine. In this episode, we take you through one of his classes. Projects and choose books based on that. For example, in secondary three, our students read a book called The Hate You Give, which basically is really well related to the events of the Black Lives Matter movement. Talk to a student. In my opinion, Mr. Lu is the best teacher in high school. And show off his talent. I'm Melissa Tabran, and you're watching SH. Mr. Lu, this really isn't a good idea. Let me show you how it should actually be done. Fine, Melissa. SH pays tribute to Mr. Lu. In this episode, we explore his friendship with Mr. Patry. Ce que j'aime de Mr. Lu, c'est que il est très impliqué euh, dans ce qu'il fait. Il s'investit pleinement. Il y a beaucoup d'idées. Euh, il peut être exigeant, mais en même temps, je pense qu'il est exigeant aussi pour lui-même, d'abord. Euh, pas mal ça. Il peut être un bon ami, parfois. Go over the best part of SATV. prove just how much the students know about it. Uh, you're actually incorrect, so maybe if you thought about it more thoroughly next time. I'm Mulsa Dabran, that's how it's done, and you're watching SHTV. Welcome to SHTV, I'm your host, Mulsa Dabran. As you can see, I'm waiting for my co-host, and I was promised it was going to be Mr. Lu, but like usual, he backed out last minute, so I'm stuck waiting. Here I am, what are we doing? What, you? Oh my god. Well, this week's episode is dedicated to Mr. Lou, so we're going to start off with a segment about his backstory. Are we really doing that? Why do we care? I'm sure some people care, all right? Here it is. You really think anyone's going to want to watch that? What do you know about Mr. Lou? Well, I heard he's been to prison like at least five times, but none of them were felonies, so no one needs to worry about it. Isn't committing arson a felony? I think so. Why do you ask? Because I'm pretty sure you committed arson in the old school. Uh, but like, I think he's born like 10 years ago. He wouldn't be old enough to do that. No, he will be 25 or 30 right now. Minimum, at least. I don't know, I dropped out of advanced math. Well, I got in, so I guess okay, I think so I'm then better I'll, than Yeah, I'll trust you, yeah. yeah. But did you hear that he actually, like, when he was born, he had brown hair and he's a natural brunette, but like, his mom didn't like it and made him dye it. That's why he has black hair now. Are you sure it's dyed? Cause I think he wears a wig. A wig? Because I see his like hairline and his like scalp separate sometimes. Like the lace is coming off? Yeah, and I see like blonde hair coming out of it. Now that I think about it, my friend Jovenar was talking to me the other day and she said that she saw him at Pharma Free and he was buying wig glue. I thought it was oh. for like an SHTV segment, oh, yeah, but that makes maybe. much more sense. Well, I know what, I also heard he's related to Miss Emma because they have like the same features and mm -hmm. the blonde hair makes so much sense. I would never thought about it, but now that you mention it, yeah. you got like the jawline? Exact same. Oh my god. Even the teeth sometimes. But I don't know about the wig because I actually am pretty sure that he's like a whale interpreter and like he translates what he hears from them. So wouldn't it come off if he was swimming? No, no, because I think he gets a like whale resistant uh, glue. glue so okay, okay, up. that's enough. Thank you. Okay. After watching the interview with our dear teammate Arini, now we will show you what it has really been like working. Arini interviewed many of his peers, his um, colleagues, his students trying to uncover this man and trying to expose him for who he really is. We spent hours, days, even weeks, months, years to discover this man, but we still haven't found the mystery. We haven't found the real truth behind who he is. He's been hiding behind a mask this whole time. He pretends to be the nice person he's not and done evil stuff to this world. Hello everyone. Today, I'm here to finally tell you guys about who this man really is. First of all, what is the cause of this? To start off, I've been working with my teammates to solve this man for the last five years, okay? I've lost sleep, food, I haven't been on my studies because of this man. First of all, this man claims to be that he's 39 years old. 
but he's 63, almost close to his retirement plan. All right, so he has as many siblings as the Kardashians here. He has, just like Angelina Jolie. Come show them, show them. Here, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. And here, these are his siblings. He's one of the uh, people adopted by Angelina Jolie. He's been hiding this, claiming to be just a normal human being while being related to a very uh, famous person. That's one. He likes Nesty and loves it because he has six siblings or five. We don't, we don't even know. We, it's still a mystery to this day. He loves this team because uh, he's related to these people. Uh, to Angelina Jolie has six siblings, lives in the forest here, and loves Black Forest. Why? Because he lives in the forest, being a mysterious guy. Guys, and Brisk reminds him of his nightmares, which is very crazy. Also, this man has killed a very innocent person. This old lady, we got her pictures off of Facebook on the news. Do you guys know what he did? The reason why he doesn't drive is because he ran over this poor young lady. All right? Second thing, he decided to be a teacher, become a teacher, to teach kids, the younger generation. Right? The real reason why he chose that career because he's been obsessed with Monsieur Patrick, our history teacher. This man is a liar and a manipulator. He is also a stalker. Been stalking uh, Monsieur Patrick for the last, I don't know how many years. I wasn't even born. So as you guys have seen, uh, I exposed all of his lies and I hope that you guys can help me achieve my goal that is to expose him and finally show everyone that he's a liar. He is not who he pretends to be, all right? He is not the teacher we all know and he loves to yell by the way. I don't know if you've heard of that. Do you guys want to know why? It's because he just loves yelling. And he thinks that it's a good cause to do it for poor children, innocent children at school. Can you believe all the trauma he has caused these kids? The trauma he has caused me by doing this? I've been going crazy for the last five years just to figure out this man. And I want him behind closed bars. For today's episode, you have the chance of having many facts from Mr. Lou that we will be using to create a game of two truths and one lie. So I have prepared a game of two truths, one lie. Would you like to play? Yes. So the first one is, Mr. Lu escaped North Korea. The okay. second one is, Mr. Lu is related to Miss Emma. And the third one is, that Mr. Lu has won a burger eating contest. Which one is the lie? The first one. That he escaped North Korea? Yes. Okay. Our first segment is about collaborating with other teachers because it's very important and something that Mr. Lu does very well. Really? Mr. Lu works well with other teachers? I know someone doesn't work well with at all. Really? Who's that? A Monsieur Patrick, of course. What is your opinion on Mr. Lu? I think Monsieur Patrick is one of the best teachers in the school. He's really nice and he teaches very well. He has to be one of my most favorite history teachers. I love that he, when he teaches his subject, he wears costumes to make his teaching more fun and more enjoyable to learn, you know? What is your opinion about Mr. Lu? Well, Mr. Patrick, I had him a few years back and I really liked his classes because the way he explained, he made the subject really interesting. What is your opinion about Mr. Lu? Mr. Patrick is the best teacher on the planet. He, I love his humor and he's really hilarious. What is your opinion about Mr. Lu? Well, I think uh, he's very entertaining. The fact how he wears costume and uh, teaching us in an entertaining way, uh, teaching us history, and the fact how he also teaches us 
a few German terms. I think Mr. Patrick is the best teacher. His, his stories are so funny and I love the way he teaches. What do you think started the conflict between Mr. Patrick and Mr. Lou? I think a couple of years ago they had a fight about a, about a bottle of Nesty and Mr. Patrick won the fight and he kept a bottle of Nesty and I think that's why they had a huge fight. I feel like the conflict that started is because they argued. I think that Mr. Lou threw a book on Mr. Patrick. On whose side are you on? Uh, I'm on uh, Mr. Patrick's side because uh, since I'm in his class this year, it's been it's been very fun and so entertaining that he uh, uses a few a few jokes and uh, in our history class and they could be useful for future tests. I'm on Mr. Patrick's side because I like his class more. What started the conflict between Mr. Patrick and Mr. Lou, and which side are you in? Okay, so Mr. Patrick, when he, when he was teaching his class, he threw a book almost at um, he threw a book at <laughs> Mr. Lou, so he almost killed him with the book. Um, and I think I'm in Mr. Patrick's side because he's a very good teacher and uh, he never fails to make me laugh. Jimmy, Jimmy, I am your father. Oh, Mr. Lou, you're such a big bad Lou. Oh, Mr. Lou, are you angry? Or simply angry? Have yourself and Wenry with iced tea, but... And nasty. Not brisk. Unless it's a soup you want. The first one is, Mr. Lou is born in Colombia. Second one is, Mr. Lou is half Latino. And the third one is, Mr. Lou has been arrested three times. Which one is the lie? The second one. That he's half Latino? Yes. Okay, so you believe that he's born in Colombia and he has been arrested three times? No. So which one's the lie? The third one. The third one, that he's yes. been arrested three times? Yes. Correct I'm answer. Not. Correct answer. This next segment is one a lot of you have been waiting a very long time for, and that's five questions with Mr. Lou. Yeah, I don't think anyone was waiting for that. Really? I'm sure a lot of people were. And I knew that Mr. Lou was ecstatic to answer these questions. Yeah, I bet. Here's five questions with Mr. Lou. Hi, I'm Mr. Liu, and today I'm honored to know that all my students sent me some wonderful questions for me to answer. I can't wait. If you could be a vegetable, which vegetable would you be and why? That's the first question you people are asking me. You could be asking me anything and you want to ask me a question about vegetables. Now think of it this way. I'm not a vegetable person. If any of you have learned anything by now about me, I'm a bacon person. Like vegetables? Seriously? Like who on earth sits down all day thinks about vegetables? Like really? I'm wasting my time right now sitting down for this interview to talk about vegetables. Don't you people have anything better else to ask me other than vegetables? Come on. Why are you still entertained by WWE when you know none of it is actually real? Who 
who who on earth wrote these questions like are they doing it on purpose just to get at me it's like first of all who is not entertained by wwe you know if any of you are actually watching this right now if this somehow makes it to air if i allow this to make it to air i will have you know that i'm sitting in los angeles right now getting ready to watch wrestlemania like how on earth am i supposed to understand and accept the fact that someone would like what's the question again read it to me why are you still entertained by wwe when you know none of it is actually real it's real to me that's all that matters it's real to me it makes me happy there are things that happen in this like as an english teacher why do you think 11 isn't pronounced 21 so finally they finally asked me a question about me being an english teacher and that's what they come up with seriously they have a hard enough time actually pronouncing anything in any of the languages they speak here and that's what you people come up with one T. I, I I can't even say it. You can't even say the word eleven. It's eleven. Do you think you like the TV show Friends because you don't have any, so watching it becomes a refreshing experience? One low blow after another. One like. Seriously, number one, everyone watched Friends when it was on, but what offends me more is that, number one, it's a great show. Number two, in this school, everyone constantly tells me that my best friend is some random history teacher I've never even heard of. Like, how on earth? Number one, I do have friends. It's none of your business who they are. And number two, none of them are gonna be watching this, so you should be ashamed of yourself for writing that question. Next, give me the next one. Describe a moment in your life where you felt envious of a certain person. Okay, right now. I feel envious of anyone who doesn't have to be sitting in this room right now, being subjected to some of the worst questions we've ever had on this segment. I don't know why I agreed to put myself in this situation. Like, seriously, of all the guests that we've had on Five Questions, why on earth did I choose this moment when I was told that I was going to get tribute questions, questions that would make me feel, and I'm seeing you, Aaron, right now looking at me that way? I don't think so. Like, I'm envious of literally anyone else who doesn't have to be sitting in this room right now having to undergo this, this particular torturous moment. I am very offended. Like, what kind of questions are these? Like, seriously, I expect better from you people. I am offended from the person looking at me right now, from the person holding the camera, from the person who's just imagining that she's not here right now, looking at her phone. Like, what is this? We could do better. Okay, I'm done. Sorry, I'm done. Bye-bye. So the first one is, Mr. Lu had, has five kids. Second one is, Mr. Lu used to work in the old school. And the third one is Mr. Lu is 58 years old. Which one is the lie? Wow. I think Mr. Uh, uh, the last one. That he's 58 years yeah. old. So you believe that he used to work in this old school, in the old school, yeah. and you also believe that he has five kids. Of course. You are correct. <laughs> Over the course of the past few years, SACB has had some really wonderful moments and a lot of things that Mr. Lu is very proud of. Well, from what I've had this pleasure of seeing, SACB has a lot to apologize for. Well, you know what? You're wrong. SACB has been incredible and has a lot of things that they've accomplished. Yeah, I don't think so. SACB has been around for a long, 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 long time. Some may say way too long. And so we thought it was only appropriate for us to put together a list of some of the worst things that we've done and apologize for them. So here it is. SHTV apologizes for the entirety of Rewind, Sec 5 Age Survivor segment, anything the Sec 4s have ever produced or edited, ever. Anytime you've had to make something for SHTV to get a grade. Anytime you've ever been offered a bonus for an SHTV video. Season 1 ads. Seriously, what were those? Any COVID-related episode, battery, assault, the football not soccer episode, specifically the Ronaldo versus Messi transition segments, anytime you've been harassed in the hallways by someone looking to interview for SHTV, any mention of the Mr. Lou, Monsieur Patrick beef in any video ever, any skit ever filmed in a classroom and or by someone wearing school clothes, background noise, armed robbery, identity theft, 
anytime Mr. Lu has ever sussed you in the hallways so that he can film something. Montages. Inappropriate editing choices. Vandalism. Out-of-pocket transitions. Segments that are longer than three minutes. Unflattering thumbnails. Copyright-free music. Font choices. Fakey camera work. Abusing voiceovers. One season Armenian. Every skit that I haven't made myself personally. Putting people on camera who are visibly uncomfortable being on camera. Anything the sec forests have put their grubby little hands on. Seriously. Filming random students in the hallways. Again, sec forests. What is wrong with you? Misuse of the English language. Destroying the English language. That one time I spelled awareness wrong in the back of a segment in season two and I still think about it to this day. Seriously, it keeps me up at night. Perjury. How small my Santa hat was in that one Christmas episode. Horrifying, awful audio. Money laundering. Anglicizing Armenian last names. Seriously, who's Garabedian? Videos that look like they were filmed on a microwave. People that use Snapchat videos, uh, filters on their videos. Vehicular manslaughter. The Instagram account. Those are all the things I could think of off the top of my head. Do you have anything else? The first one is, Mr. Lu is a vegan. Second one is, Mr. Lu had a very success successful painter career. And the third one is, Mr. Lu owns a burger place. Which one is the lie? Okay, so the lie, I think is number three. But he owns a burger place? Yeah. So you believe he used to be a very successful painter and that he is a vegan now? Yeah. You are correct. Thank you. No. Yeah. <laughs> For this week's SATV challenge, we decided to quiz one student on how well they really knew Mr. Liu. Really, Melissa? You know nearly nothing about him. Actually, I think we know quite a bit about him and this challenger is going to prove it. Or let's see how little they know. Anyways, this is this week's SACV Challenge. Hi, I'm Karnil Dorskunyan, the host of the SHTV Challenge. There is one teacher that we can really appreciate in the whole school, and that's Monsieur Patrick. But unfortunately, that is not who we will be focusing on today. Let's find out what the challenge is. Bonjour, mon nom est Patrick Gionnet. Je suis enseignant à l'école arménienne sur Paga en histoire. Je ne connais pas grand-chose de M. Lou, malgré que ça fait 15 ans que je le connais. Je lance un défi maintenant aux élèves de sur Paga. Pourriez-vous répondre à 10 questions à propos de lui? Oh, we really have to do that as a challenge? My, my. Well, now we have to find out the student who was brutally forced into doing this challenge. Hi, I'm Aaron Takajan from the Sec 5B class. I accept this trivia challenge because I know Mr. Lu best, I'm that guy, and I'm at least aiming for, to answer six out of 10 questions right. Out of all the people, it had to be him. It had to be that guy. You've got to be kidding me. Now let's see how well he knows. Mr. Lu, the one and only best teacher. All right, are you ready, Adam? I'm born ready. Okay, so let's start off with an easy question. Uh, what is Mr. Lu's favorite food? Hamburgers, burgers. Uh, you're actually incorrect. So maybe if you thought about it more thoroughly next time. Uh, let's go on to the next question. Um, <laughs> are we gonna do pauses? <laughs> no, okay. How many WrestleManias has Mr. Lu attended? You can think about it because I know it can be hard mm, for you. He's left classes. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, one. What's your final answer? How old are you, Mr. Lu? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say around 17. <laughs> no, that's that's wildly incorrect. Good guess, though. Um, what is the name of the hospital in which Mr. Lu was born? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew him really well. You're really confident, think can about it. Can I have it. your parents' phone number, Mr. Lu? So I can contact, um... 
Do you not know any hospitals in Montreal? Saint Justice. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, how many siblings does Mr. Lou have? Zero. That's a terrible guess. I'll give you one more. That sibling Mr. Lou. <laughs> I thought he would be your good friend. He has three siblings. Oh, that one. You got one right. Yes. One. Good job. I guess. Um, wait, wait. How many brothers? How many sisters? It's uh, two, two, two sisters and a brother. Wow. Is that right? Is that right? Okay. Uh, when is Mr. Lou's birthday? This is something you should know about him since you know him so well, right? So really think about it. Um. I'll give you two guesses. I think it's in the summer because we never celebrate it. <laughs> I'll say it's in August. No. No. But, but you're right about it being the summer. July? Mm hmm. 23. No. <laughs> Is that closer? <laughs> you're so embarrassing. You've gotten one right. Please think about it next time. This is embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Um. What is Mr. Lou's Ben and Jerry's order? His what? Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Okay. What when he goes to Ben and Jerry's? What does he order? I've never heard of that place, but you've uh, never heard of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Where do you go, Mr. Lou? Okay, what um, is Mr. Lou's favorite ice cream flavor? I no. You like a lot of chocolate. I see caramel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not caramel. Okay. Uh, what was Mr. Lou's favorite Habs player growing up? Oh. Uh. Sakovu? Or Kovalev? Think older. Maurice Richard. <laughs> Villa Fleur. No, think goalie. Patrick Croix. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, I'll, do I give you that one? Yes, yes. Okay, That's anyway, you're not gonna win. Uh, I'm a Habs Even though there's no prize, but. Well, what is Mr. Lou's favorite dog breed? I don't even know dog breeds me myself. You're a dog? Me. So you should know, right? If you're a dog, um, you should know other dogs. Think about it. We don't run in the hallways. Um, I don't know, a poodle. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so I think, uh, oh, there's one more left. Uh, I'll give you five points if you get this one right since you've done so horribly. Uh, what's Mr. Lou's favorite TV show of all time? Uh, TV show? Family Food. <laughs> no! Uh, really, really solid guess there, really but absolutely not. So, um, I'm, I regret to inform you that you've gotten two points uh, of ten. Um, and that's me being generous. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Have you been humbled by this quiz? I'm always humbled. And, you know, I don't, I don't have much stuff to say because I thought I knew, I knew you, Mr. Lou. But, but you don't... I guess no one will know you. Yeah, he's a mysterious man. Okay, Very thank mysterious. you, Aden, for that embarrassing performance. Okay. Okay, that was such an unfair quiz. Even that guy couldn't answer all the questions. Join us next week for another SHTV challenge. If we're not canceled by then. Are we done filming? Oh. Can I go? I'm really starving now. I really hope we don't get cancelled though. Am I done? Are you? You're okay, Mr. Lou. You're frozen. Hello? Are you gonna give me a cookie? I love cookies. The first one is, Mr. Lou is fluent in Mandarin. Second one is, Mr. Lou used to have a blonde face, so he used to be blonde before. And the third one is, Mr. Lou is related to Lady Gaga, distantly. Which one is a lie? I think the second one is a lie. So you believe that he is related to Lady Gaga? And you believe that he is fluent in Mandarin? Yes. You are correct. You might be asking yourself, 
which ones are real and who actually won the game? Well, I have some unfortunate news for you. None of them were real. They were all lies made by the SHTV group. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's SHTV segment. Thank you for watching SHTV. We're sorry you had to watch SHTV. I know that SHTV is something that I really enjoy doing and I'm so grateful to Mr. Lou for this wonderful opportunity. I can't do this anymore. I want out. Well, I think you're the only one because most people who work on SHTV love doing it. In fact, I'm going to leave you with some messages of them talking about how much they enjoy this project. Well, I have a little bit of a party gift for you on my way out. I'm not the only one who wants to quit this team. Here we go. I love how SHTV represents our school, but at the same time, it's forcing all the students to be in the videos. Exactly. Right? He's always harassing us in the hallway. Where is this video? Where is that video? What? Yeah, like it literally evolves around us. Like, I wake up in the morning, SHTV. I go to sleep, SHTV. I even dream of it sometimes. What is this nonsense? Even our homework is SHTV. Exactly. I like. It's very tiring. Hello, students. Uh, hi. I keep hearing stuff. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Well, I need my videos as soon as possible. Oh my god. We're, We're done. done. We're done. Oh my god. You know, being part of the SHTV really gave us some great opportunities, new experiences. We got to work with uh, better, different technology, develop our interests. I mean, it was just a such a great experience overall, and I was really, I'm really proud of that. Don't you think? No. Okay. No. This, this is all a lie. Mr. Lu, okay, is not it. He makes us work overtime after school. Yeah. Gives us loads of work to do for. SHTV, whatever that is, whatever okay? That is. And this is basically child labor. You know what? You're right. Imagine right. running around school for four years asking the same people, Hi, do you want to be in an SHTV video? Like, that's so embarrassing. Exactly. Who does that? Yeah. Like, like there's no way this is real. Impossible, you know? I, I don't know how we managed to do it this long. Yeah. Like, it just, I, I don't know. Me neither. No, you, know, you know what? We quit! Although if SHTV has done a tremendous job and amazing content, I was just about to say that we sec fives don't do in don't do enough, and Mr. Lou just wants to hire the sec ones to do it, and uh, he thinks that he's on he's on top of his game. No, you know who's on top of his game? Roman Reigns. Acknowledge him. Don't acknowledge Mr. Lou because. He has been replacing us by the SEC 1s and the SEC 4s to do all the SHTV work. Which is why I quit! So I love that SHTV has brought the whole school together and made everyone more close to each other because they can watch videos of each other online at any given time and know more about that person. And I think the thing that made me realize the thing I, that I love SHTV the most is that in the beginning of the year, since we're SEC 5s, Mr. Lou told us we're not going to work as much, but I think that's a huge lie. Like, I've worked way more this year than I have, have last year, and last year I made a whole episode. And I think it's ridiculous how much work we have. It's crazy. It's very right? Mm -hmm. Oh. But I quit.
It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. There's the Universal Championship, seen by many as the grandest accomplishment possible in all of sports entertainment. The bell is rung and you can feel the excitement in the air. 